from Medicine Hat, Alberta at 6'4", 265, professional record of O, O, and O, accompanied by his manager, Big Red the Chicken. It's Stiffy. You have yourself a chicken here in studio. I believe this is the first barnyard animal since I had a pig in the studio many yeah. years ago. Uh, this is your manager. Is the chicken going to provide you, you know, the, the recipe to a victory in our leg wrestling championship number seven here this morning? Well, there's 11 secret herbs and spices for the colonel, and I think we got them here today, too, so <laughs> we should be okay. You clearly uh, caught the uh, six prior editions of LWC and, and thought to yourself at the workplace, I could take on the champ, right? Anybody can finish the six pack. It takes a man to finish the seven pack. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was it about you that wanted to step up for CJ92's leg wrestling championship? Because a lot of times we're talking to people who have had a long history of leg wrestling in bars and growing up. This is going to be your first time competing ever. Well, I figured why not give it a shot? Tyler's getting a little too big for his britches, so time to take him away. I'm glad you mentioned the champ because I think it's time to introduce from Martinsville, Saskatchewan, at six foot one, 250 pounds. A professional record of 6-0-0. Oh, and oh. The champion has a name, and it's Small Town Tyler. This is your biggest competitor yet. We've been talking about this all week because a lot of people were worried that we were just throwing you tomato cans and elderly people. You've got now in front of you a six foot four, 265 pound man from a farm with a chicken. Does this worry Small Town Tyler at all? Uh, I mean, the, the chicken's kind of been talking some smack while I got up here, but uh, yeah, I mean, farm boy strength is always something to be worried about. Growing up in small town, you, you have to deal with it, and uh, I've, I've dealt with it many times, so this shouldn't be too hard. Does the champ have any concerns about uh, Big Red, the chicken, potentially uh, interfering in the match at all? Are you worried about that? Maybe. I mean, I should maybe put on some protective glasses just uh -huh. in case. I mean, once <laughs> once I lay down there, I think I'm fair game for the chicken. Did He's you getting real fired up right now. <laughs> Maybe you'd be bringing in an air fryer. Did you bring that in in case uh, you want to cook the chicken up after the victory? Uh, yeah, it's at my desk right now. We're waiting for it. <laughs> it is a best two out of three leg wrestling championship bout. The object is to force your opponent's knee or thigh to touch the ground while keeping your own knee off the ground. You get fouls for striking, for biting, for scratching, or any other unsportsmanlike behavior. And in this case, there is a chicken uh, that was brought in by Stiffy. So if that chicken gets involved in any way, shape, or form, it will be a sandwich uh, by eight o'clock this morning. Wrestlers or chickens found violating these rules, well, you know what will happen to them out back. Rockaholic Stiffy, are you ready? Rockaholic Small Town Tyler, are you ready? Let's get it on! Competitors, swinging, locking, Small Town Tyler flipping Stiffy swiftly, I might add. The champ is up one to nothing, just like that, Jesse Mods. JD, that looked easier than I thought it was going to be for the six foot four, 265 pound Stiffy. I need you to hang on to Big Red the Chicken very, very tightly, Jesse. I worry that maybe this is the moment Big Red the manager might try to get involved. I could actually feel the chicken's heart beating, uh -huh. as are Stiffy's and Small Town Tyler. Stiffy, are you ready? Small Town Tyler, are you ready? Let's get it on! Champions, they are locked right in the middle. Small Town Tyler with the push and the flip. Just like that, Small Town Tyler making quick work of Stiffy. And still the champion. It is Small Town Tyler. Rockaholic Stiffy, how you feeling, buddy? Little defeated, but you know what? I'll give it to him. I think I have a seven pack at this point. You uh, you put up a hell of an effort, especially that uh, that second round where you guys were locked with uh, with both your legs headed straight towards midnight. Not my best work, but uh, looks like I got something to train for. I'm starting to realize that when it comes to leg wrestling, it's not always bigger is better where I thought it was. Yeah. You are a massive man. Six foot four, 265. And small town Tyler flipped you over like you were a child. Yeah, he flipped me like a pancake. <laughs> it's probably a great time to bring in the champion who has a name. It is small town Tyler. And for the record, it really isn't about size, is it? A lot of it comes down to technique. Yeah, a little technique, a little strategy. You could tell after the first one, uh, he got a little bit better in round two, but uh, wasn't enough to beat the champ. There was uh, some discussion earlier about like your training regimen or, or lack thereof, to be honest. Like, what did a challenger like this do for, for your mindset going forward? Honestly, it, it brought my confidence way up, so I don't see the gym in my future. <laughs> Now, STT, there are so many people lining up on the text line every single week to fight you uh, and leg wrestle you here at CJ92. We have yet to find a competitor uh, for week number eight. Anybody you, you would like to see, any kind of heights, any kind of weights, you want big, you want small, what would you like to call out here on CJ92? I mean, uh, it was fun taking down this guy, so let's get a bigger fish. <laughs>